Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you so much for joining us for Children's Story Hour. I'm so glad every week when I see videos and pictures of you all watching and singing along, and you guys do such a great job. So we're going to go ahead and sing our first song, so I need everyone to stand up. we got another action song going on today. This one is called I've Got Peace Like a River. So... Hopefully I can remember all the motions and I don't fall over while I do all these crazy actions. All right, is everyone ready to sing with me? All right, let's go. Get your fingers out like this. And we say, I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. The next one goes like this, I've got love like the ocean. We're snorkeling under the ocean. Ready? I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean in my soul. I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean in my soul. Very good. All right, the next one. I've got joy, we'll smile and point to our dimples. I've got joy like a fountain. Do a pose like a statue, so like a fountain spewing water, ready? I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. Very good, you guys did a great job on that. Okay, everyone can sit down now, and we're going to sit up nice and tall, fold those hands and put them right in your lap. And we're going to hear a story today about a young boy named Tim. And the title of our story is Tim's Temper. Do you know what a temper is? A temper is when you get mad really quick. and Maybe you yell a lot or maybe you fight or maybe you do angry things or you throw things. And that's never pleasing to God. So we're going to listen to a story about a boy named Tim. And we're going to hear all about Tim's temper. Let me show you a picture of Tim. This is Tim right here. This is the story of Tim. He had opened his heart to the Lord Jesus and wanted to live to please him, but Tim had one bad fault. He just could not control his temper. He would get mad so quickly that sometimes it even surprised him. He did try so hard to overcome this bad habit. He knew the Lord Jesus wasn't happy when he acted badly. Well, Tim's mother had to go away for a few weeks, so she left Tim with his grandma. Oh, this was such a treat for Tim because he loved his grandma, and you boys know how grandmas are, don't you? They seem to think their grandchildren can do no wrong, don't they? Well, Tim's grandma was just that way, and she thought he was such a wonderful young boy. Grandma knew nothing about Tim's bad temper, and Tim decided she would never, never find out about it either. He wanted to keep that part a secret, not let grandma know just how angry he got. Now, Tim, grandma would say, we have a few things that must be done each day. You need to dry the dishes and feed the chickens. Surely that would be fun, wouldn't it? And sweep the walk for me. And each day, Tim would see how helpful he would be. He would dry the dishes, he would feed the chickens, and he swept the walk each and every evening. Tim was a pretty good boy when it came down to that. He and grandmother would read the Bible together and talk about some exciting story from God's word, and then they would pray right before Tim went to bed. Grandma hadn't discovered that Tim ever lost his temper or said bad words or got into fights. One day, as Tim and his best friend Jim went walking home from school, Tim tripped over a stone that he hadn't seen and fell down. As if it weren't embarrassing enough falling down in front of all your friends. This was just too much. Uh-oh, something happened and we know he's got a temper. His friend Jim just threw his head back and laughed 
laughed and laughed and laughed at him and tear tears were rolling down his cheeks. Well, this was very rude and unkind of his friend. He should never laugh when someone gets hurt or gets embarrassed. It wasn't kind. But before Tim knew it, he was boiling mad. He picked himself up from off the ground and swung at Jim, and they began to fight and punch and roll all over the school ground. Well, who do you think came along just then? You guessed it. Grandma was walking home, and when she saw those boys and realized it was Tim, she was absolutely shocked. She didn't know he had a temper. She separated the two angry boys and said, what is the meaning of this, Tim? He laughed at me, shouted Tim at her. Well, he didn't have to get mad, growled Jim. You better go home, Tim, said Grandma. Tim was ashamed of himself. He couldn't look at Grandma or Jim. And when Grandma came home, she had a talk with Tim. I'm sorry you got angry over such a little thing. You must surely have a very bad temper. Tim was sorry Grandma had found it out, and he told her how he had tried to watch himself and had tried to keep from getting mad and tried to keep from fighting and how much he needed help. But Tim, Grandma said, you do have help. And then she opened her Bible and read Romans 8, 14. For as many are as led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And she explained to Tim that since he was saved, he had the Holy Spirit living inside of him, and the Holy Spirit was there to help him and to lead him to do what's right. Well, this gave Tim new courage, and he said, from now on, Grandma, I'm going to trust the Lord to give me victory every moment, and I know the Holy Spirit will help me. Well, Tim felt he must speak to Jim. He knew he must have ruined everything with Jim, for he did want his friend to receive the Lord Jesus as a Savior too. But now, with what had happened, Tim felt sure his friend wouldn't let him talk to him about Jesus anymore. Still, he had asked God to forgive him, and now he must ask Jim to forgive him too. When he saw Tim, he said, Jim, I'm sorry I lost my temper. I want you to forgive me for acting like I did. And Jim said, that's okay. I've been pre pre feeling pretty silly about it myself. I'm the one who ought to apologize. Well, Tim went on, I'm a Christian, and it sure makes it worse when I lose my temper and get mad. Grandmother and I just talked it over, and she showed me how I can be different from now on with the help from the Holy Spirit. Jim said slowly, I'd like to be different too, but... I don't know how. Well, the only way you can be different, Jim, is to receive the Lord Jesus into your heart because he paid the penalty for your sin and shed his blood for you on the cross. Then you will be his child and he will give you the Holy Spirit to live in your heart and give you victory over sins that you commit day by day. And boy, then will you be different. And boys and girls, guess what? Right then and there in Jim's house, Tim got to lead his best friend to the Lord Jesus. Every day, we need to ask the Holy Spirit to cleanse our hearts of every sin. For even as Christians and saved boys and girls, with Jesus and the Holy Spirit living in our hearts, we still do wrong and we still need forgiveness. Uh, and our bodies will be redeemed as well as our souls and we will be moved someday from the very presence of sin to live with God forever and ever. But until then, we need to ask God to continually show us things that are wrong in our lives and really want the power of the Holy Spirit in us to make us strong and victorious over all the wrong things that we do and say. And boys and girls, did you know if you've asked Jesus Christ into your heart before, that now you too have the Holy Spirit living in you? You know, you don't have to just try really, really hard to be good. The Holy Spirit can help you, but you need to ask him for help. And you need to listen to him when that voice inside your heart and in your head says, you shouldn't be doing that. Guess what? That is the Holy Spirit. And he loves us and he wants to help us do what's right. And with the Holy Spirit's help, Tim now knows that he has help doing what's right. 
So that's what our verse is going to be about today. The same verse Tim's grandma gave him, we're going to learn. But first, we're going to do our drawing for last week's Bible verse. And I have a whole list of people who said their verse. Aiden and Simon and KJ. I saw Sierra and Kylie. Carter Womack, good job. And Lorelai, that was very cute. Brianna and Rocco and Bruce, good job on saying your verse. And I have put all your names into my M&M jar. And one of you will be getting a special gift in the mail today. Now, Amazon is running super, super slow. So Haley, your gift is still coming. It's going to get there sometime this week. So hopefully it'll get there by Saturday for this new drawing. But we will see. If it takes a little bit of a week, that's because Amazon's running real slow. But it'll get there. So the winner that's going to get happy mail for saying their verse this week is... Kylie, good job, Kylie. You've done a very good job. I think you've said it almost every week. And uh, we'll get some happy mail coming to your house uh, today. Well, it'll come sometime, hopefully this week or early next week. The verse we're going to learn for this week, if we want to try it again, if you want your name in that drawing and for a chance to get some fun mail coming to your house is Romans 8.14. And it says, this is the verse that Tim's grandma gave him, for as many are as led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For as many are as led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Because you are God's child and he will always lead you by his Spirit. Remember that this weekend and trust in him to help you obey and do what's right. Thank you for listening so good. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next week.